Zim May Plus at UFC on Fuel TV 9 in Stockholm, Sweden with Brad Pickett. Brad, how are you enjoying Stockholm, Sweden right now? Uh, good. Uh, like, I like this place, you know. For me, it's like a second home outside the UK, you know, and uh, I've been here a few times. I've trained here before. I've got some good uh, training partners from Sweden and I've got friends from Sweden. So, yeah, I enjoy the place. Uh, and uh, last time I was here, it went very well for me. So I hope I get like a repeat performance and... Uh, Looking forward to it. You've been quite busy over the last six or seven months. I think this is your third fight in the six or seven months. Is that something you've intentionally wanted to do? Yeah, I'd like to keep busy. You know, uh, it's no, no secret I'm getting getting on and old in the sport. So obviously, I want to fight as regular as I can. Especially in the, the day, it's your job. So unless you're injury, unless you've got an injury or something, you know, I want to fight as regular as I can. Also, I think it helps. I'm very relaxed when it comes to this fight now. Uh, when you haven't been fighting, for, you take a long time out. You, t you tend to, it kind of like gets a bit alien for you. Well, not alien, kind of like you get more nervous. Where I'm fighting regular now, it's like, oh, I'm here again. Yeah, I'm gonna find it. Yeah, so my nerves are a lot. I don't get, I'm not getting nervous as much, you know. And uh, for me, I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying it more than getting nerves. You know? Push. Push. Another right hand. Push. Facing Mike Easton at the weekend, he's known for his powerful, powerful build. You said you, you you think you can punch harder than him. How do you think that fight's going? Well, I do think I, uh, technically I punch harder than him, but he, he, nowadays he doesn't take a lot to knock someone out with, with, with these little gloves on. So, uh, I'm not saying that he doesn't have potential. Uh, well, I don't think he's going to knock me out because I've never been knocked out. Not good. Uh, yeah, but. Um, yeah, I think, I think he's got an aggressive style, I've got an aggressive style. So it's very, it'd be very interesting to see how the fight plans up. I, I honestly think he's going to dance around a little bit to start off with, move around a lot, and then as soon as the fight gets settled in, it, it, I think we'll clash horns. What do you think a win does for you here? Similar to Michael Bisping, you, you'll get on a good run, close to that title contention, and then you'll drop one, and then you'll get some more wins again. What do you think a win here does for you? It keeps me relevant, you know. Uh, I'm there and thereabouts, you know, kind of like the thing, everyone, everyone who beats me seems to go on and get a title shot, so I just need to win those fights and then, then it'll be my, my time, but at the moment I'm not really looking at that as a um, as a factor, for me winning's important in the sport, so if I win I go through one door, if I lose I go through a different door, so it's up to me now just to focus and just hopefully win and then after that I'll go, okay, now what's going on, so that's what my focus is on. <laughs> the Swedish MMA Federation pulled Alexander Gustafsson from the main event. Swedish MMA Federation seem like they're quite strict with how they conduct their business. Do you think this is something that UK MMA can look at now with safe MMA? Yeah, definitely. Definitely, yeah. As in like, uh, obviously, it's, it does suck for the Swedish fans and, and stuff like that, and the UFC, and Alexander Gustafsson, because they all wanted to, to get him to fight. But at the end of the day, you know, there's rules, you know, and uh, I guess... I ain't, I ain't seen the cut myself, so I don't know how bad it is, you know. Um, so I can't comment on that too much. Uh, but I feel bad for the Swedish fans, so part of me wants to put on another good show, put on a good show this Saturday to, to make up for the for the, the lack of the main event uh, falling out, you know. Have you been keeping tabs on Safe MMA and their progress over in the UK? A uh, little bit, but not, not as much, because it doesn't involve me too much anymore. But... Uh, yeah, a little, a little bit. I, I, I'm, you know, because obviously I'm still, you know, go, got fighters, who, friends, and fighters and fights on the, on on my channel and stuff like that as well. So yeah, I know about I know about it, but I'm not, I must admit I don't know all the ins and outs. Thanks, Lon. Best of luck. This is MMA Plus at UFC on Fuel TV Nine in Stockholm, Sweden.